And here we go. We got our boys right here. We just had a pre-start meeting. Um, <clears throat> I have not worked with this insulation company before, but this is a huge milestone. This is uh, necessary for us to get ready to go into drywall. Okay, so I have this in, and also in Spanish. But one thing I just want to point out that, see, after they're all done, we had the meeting beforehand. But then one of the big things that, because after they're done, I come behind and reinspect them. So one of the important things that I have to communicate <clears throat> is we do not want to squish our insulation. So what do we do when we have wires? What we do not want to happen is to have the insulation like this and pushed into the wires where there's an air gap. When you compress the insulation, you drop energy efficiency, right? Are you paying attention? Good. So what they have to do is slice the batten insulation, like the Pink Panther stuff with the paper on the one side. Put some of it behind, some of it in front, because the thickness of this is not even um, three-eighths of an inch, so it's less than one inch. We do not need to sacrifice inch and a half just to be quick workers and just slam it in here we have to have it behind and in front I hope that makes sense after probably after today maybe tomorrow I'll shoot a video of after I come through and inspect it there and now I gotta make sure with the, I'm not gonna pull the customer folders out here some customers have opted to insulate the garages some have not so I gotta pull out the paperwork just to verify that what I got is what they got. So pull out the, the pewters. Um, oh, all this cardboard, all right. We, uh, they're gonna put that cardboard up. See the wall where the, the sl above the slider? They're gonna, we already have some up there, but we're gonna have some areas where we don't want the insulation to fall over a place. And then in here, all along where the daylight is up there, they have these little waffle-shaped things where we put that in there so it still allows venting of the hot air out of the roof but doesn't allow later when we do the blow-in insulation, it doesn't allow it to blow in onto the soffit outside. Um, again, I'll show you that in another video. And this will be a long day, but... Uh, when you love what you do, you don't have to go to work.